welcome back to Afrobeat blog with Free West Deep. We're going to be talking about Afrobeat. Right now, I have top 10 Niger Afrobeat song of 2022. This is a compilation of Afrobeat blog and then you have to put your own comment in the comment section. I don't want any insult for now. That is something I'm telling you guys. And then if you have your own contrary opinion, you can put that in the comment section and say what you feel about my list so far. Before I dive into the story, I want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far. Thank you for the opportunities which you've given to me and thank you for the TikTok follows, Facebook follows. Guys, you guys are awesome. I think uh, I owe you guys a lot. You know, we are now about 115,000 followers on TikTok. That is massive. That is, you know, uh, gaining. That is something I believe about uh, 10,000 on Facebook. We are all there right now. Top 10 Niger Afrobeat song of 2022. I'm going to start from number 10, counting down to number one. You may disagree with the list, but quietly put your own comment in the comment section. Number 10 is how are you my friend from johnny drill and uh, i think uh, that song is actually raving the airwaves right now and johnny drill who is a member of uh, maven record and a signee of uh, don jazzy's uh, record label has actually you know gained a lot of attention in 2022 uh, by his uh, recent performances and uh, songs that is something i believe and one of these uh, his uh, work is one of the biggest on radio right now how are you my friend that is number 10 how are you my friend number nine on my list is overdose by maybe record also and overdose uh is one of the maybe record song that actually hit the airwaves at the time you know sat on chat for you know some you know weeks and i think uh uh, I have to actually give them number nine on this, and it's one of the favorites of many in the street out there. Overdose me, you love the overdose me. Number eight for this, that is coming in from Benson, formerly known as Buju. A lot of people will agree with me that Buju is one of the most talented artists. You know, uh, that is what I believe based on the recent collaborations he's uh, actually gotten involved in and has made them so successful that, man, these guys uh, actually reach out to Buju at the end of the day. The lives of uh, Timaya was so appreciative of uh, Buju on the uh, outside you know that is something i really love about this guy you know if he wants to sing for you this guy does it like man i'm doing it for myself and that has actually played off number seven is closer you know that is uh, a color show from us lead closer is one of the biggest of us lead in 2022 and he was able to do a remix on that with camilla i think uh, us lead will tell you that i earned a lot of success you know from that you know apart from making songs like contour and the rest yes closer is one of the biggest songs of uh, us lead in 2022 <laughs> Number six on my list, I have Mr. Money from Ashake. Ashake is the rave of the moment right now, no doubt. This guy is, you know, in the game. Nobody saw Ashake coming and took the industry by storm and was able to sit a whole album on Apple Chart in Nigeria. That is a big number for me, and that is a huge attention for Ashake at a time like this although he's facing a lot of challenges right now you know at his uh, uk show that was cancelled as a result of security breach they said two persons have died already and that is another problem for the management that is something i believe <laughs> number five for me is stand strong from david o. <laughs> this song is an inspiration and uh, i think a lot of platforms they will group the song on uh, 
you know, gospel song. That is what many platforms they've done in recent time. But I think uh, this is the first time the video is actually doing something like this with a choir, a staple choir in the US, and uh, it got the attention of the world at a time, you know, like this in 2022. And right now, I have to put that on the list as number five. <laughs> Number four on my list is Asiwaju from Ruga. I think uh, this song is like about number one uh, on chart in Nigeria right now as we speak. I think, um, you know, a uh, person of Ruga is a very talented artist. No wonder a person of uh, the Prince, uh, the Jersey Wa uh, World, um, you know, owner, uh, they want to release Ruga to maybe record his brother that is a person of Tonjazi. but all the same this guy is actually cooling off with a lot of numbers on chat i think i have to like you know give him a place on my list friends these singlet belt and ripped up jeans man to was an yes number three i have fireboy with peru and fireboy is one of the you know great entertainer uh recently fireboy has actually gotten international attention with his peru remix uh with ishiran i think i have to like you know commend fireboy for his uh, recent achievement and at the time uh, i was watching an interview from you know uk by a person of uh, ishiran uh, said something like yes uh, fireboy um peru remix is now the biggest Afrobeat song in UK at the time like this. Guys, number two on my list. I have number two on my list, which is currently thriving right now in US. I think uh, it's number one Afrobeat song in US. Or uh, person of uh, you know Rema with Countdown remix featuring Selena Gomez. I think uh, that is another interesting one. That is a big one out there, and people are responding accordingly. Rema is like you know uh, one of the rave of the moment and the rave of the new generation. I think Rema is talented. You know Rema is one guy that has passed through a lot at younger age and was able to understand the industry and his communication and his death for me number one on my list is a person of uh, Bonner boy with last last yes this is a part of his love Damini album 19 songs in that album this album is one of the dopest got a grammy nomination as a result of this album and uh, this song was from uh, you know was a sample of uh, Tony Brasson's hit single, He Wasn't Man Enough For Me. And according to Bonaboy, he said he's paying 60% royalty to a person of, uh, you know, Tony Braxton for sampling his uh, work. And that is a good one. And this song is the rave of the moment in US right now. I think a lot of people are responding to that. And uh, uh, somehow uh, Bonaboy is one of the biggest artists in Nigeria right now based on records we are seeing. Getting a Grammy nomination, two Grammy nominations, that is huge for Bonner Boy. Remember that Bonner Boy has won Grammys, you know, in the past and people are ticking Bonner Boy to winning another Grammy with his Love Damini album. Guys, before I jump off, what do you think about my list? I want you to put that in the comment section, what you feel about the list so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat Blog, keep supporting Freeways Deep and keep checking us out on other social media platforms.